We have our parts modeled. Now we need to get them 3D printed. We need to test out our design and see how things go together. There are a couple different types of printers out there today, but we're going to be looking at fused deposition modeling. This is where the printer takes a filament of plastic, heats it up to just below the melting temperature, and extrudes it out a layer at a time. We're going to be running our parts through the GrabCAD print software to be printed on our Stratasys 3D printers. This is a very easy process. We just have to orient the part and hit go. So we're going to see how this works and get the parts printing so we can have them done by the end of the day. So I have the GrabCAD print software running. I've gone through and chose one of the 3D printers that we have here in the Houston office. It's a Stratasys F170. All I have to do is come over and hit add models. And typically we'd bring in an STL file, but the nice thing about GrabCAD print is we can actually bring in the native SOLIDWORKS models. So I'll select both of those files and hit open. It's going to bring in both parts. Now all we have to do is decide how we want to orient the parts to build. We can come in and change the orientation. You know, do we want to print them standing up or do we want to print them laying down? They'll actually come out pretty decently laying down just like this. We've got the ability to come in and look at the slice preview. That'll let us look at things layer by layer. We can come in and see where it's going to build support material. It's going to build some support material around the, the holes that the pins go through. And we can just walk up through the layers. So the orange material is the support material and the green material is the model material. If we say view estimates, it'll tell us it's going to take a little over two and a half hours to print both of these parts. All we have to do if we're happy with this now is come over and hit the print button and it will send it to the 3D printer. Once we've sent the parts over from GrabCAD, all we have to do is come over and load a tray in the printer. Then we just have to wait for it to print and clean it up in a bit. So once the part is done, all we have to do is take the tray back out of the machine, and then we've got to remove the support material. To remove the parts from the build tray, all we have to do is twist the tray a little bit and it should pop off. We can remove the support material manually on the outer part. But if we look at the inner part, it actually comes off the tray nice and clean. We can continue manually removing the support material, or we can throw the parts in a tank to dissolve the rest. So once we have the support material removed, all we have to do is line up the angled cuts on the ends, and the material has enough flex that we can actually put the pins together. And then we've got our folding foam stand. 